Hello everyone. Today we will start exercise 10.1 of unit 10 that is profit and loss. So let's begin. Question number one. Find the profit or loss when SP is rupees 765 and CP is rupees 665. So to find profit or loss we have to see whether CP is greater or or SP is greater. If the selling price means SP is greater, then you will use the formula of profit. And if CP is greater, then you will use the formula of finding loss. So here, SP is greater than CP. It means we have to find profit. So write SP rupees 765, CP rupees 665, then compare both of them. Therefore, profit is equals to SP minus CP. Why? Because SP is greater than CP. So, rupees 765 minus rupees 665 will be rupees 100. It means profit is rupees 100. Now, part B. Here, SP is 28,900 and CP is rupees 30,000. So, we will write it in the solution SP rupees 28900 and CP rupees 30,000 and now we have to compare and see which one is greater. So we can just find out that CP is greater. So when CP is greater, there is always a loss. Therefore, loss is equals to CP minus SP. Why? Because SP is less than CP. So put the values and then subtract them and after subtraction, you will get rupees 1100 as the answer. It means loss is rupees 1100. 100. Next is part C. Here SP is rupees 9999 and CP is rupees 11,000. So in solution, first of all, we will write both of them. That is SP rupees 9999 and CP rupees 1100. Now we will compare them. So here CP is greater. When CP is greater, there is a loss. Therefore, loss is equals to CP minus SP because CP is greater than SP. So, we can say rupees 11,000 minus rupees 9,999. So, you please subtract and just check the answer. So, your answer will be rupees 1,001 and this is loss. Now, question number 2. Find the cost price. Now, in the previous question, we just calculated the profit and loss. Now, in this question, we will find the cost price that is CP. Now, let's see here. SP is given and profit is given. SP is rupees 1200 and profit is rupees 150. So, write down both of them. That is SP rupees 1200, profit rupees 150. Now, compare. How? See the formula. Therefore, CP is equals to when there is a profit, it is SP minus profit. Now, see, there is a profit and in case of profit, how to find CP? That is, CP is equals to SP minus profit. So, you put the values, subtract them and check your answer will be rupees 1050. And this is the cost price means CP. Now, part B. Here, SP is rupees 155999. That is 1,55,999. And profit is rupees 10,811. So, write both the values, SP and profit. And then C. If we have to find CP and there is profit, so the formula will be CP is equals to SP minus profit. Put the values, subtract them. So you will get the answer that is rupees 1,45,188. Now part C. Here SP is given rupees 45,980 and loss is given rupees 230. Now here in this case loss is given. And when we are supposed to find CP and loss is given, so you must remember the formula. Okay, so first of all, let us write the values that is CP and loss. After that, write the formula. CP is equals to SP plus loss. Okay, so put the values, add them. You will get the final answer that is rupees 46,210. So dear students, you need to keep the formulas in mind. Okay, if you are sure about the formulas, you will be able to do the questions very easily. Next is part D. 
SP is equals to rupees eighty thousand and loss rupees fifteen hundred. Now, write the values that is SP and loss, and then formula of CP that is SP plus loss. Then put the values, add them. You will get the final answer that is rupees eighty one thousand five hundred, and this is the cost price that is CP. Now next question, question number three. Find the selling price when CP is given and profit is given. So in solution, write down the values of CP and profit. That is CP rupees twenty two hundred and profit rupees two hundred and one. Now in case of profit, how to find the selling price? That is CP plus profit. Then put the values, add them. You will get the final answer. That is rupees two thousand four hundred and one. Next is. CP is given and profit is given. So again, write the values. CP rupees one fifty, profit rupees fifteen. And in case of profit, how to find the SP? Therefore, SP is equal to CP plus profit. Okay. So put the values, solve them, and write the answer. That is rupees one hundred and sixty five. Now next part. Here, CP and loss is given. So formula will be. Opposite. Okay. In case of profit, to find SP, you were just adding CP and profit. Now, in case of loss, you will be subtracting CP and loss. So, write the values of CP and loss. CP rupees nine sixty, loss rupees one hundred and sixty. Therefore, SP will be CP minus loss. Then put the values, subtract them. You will get rupees eight hundred as the answer. Now. Part D. Here again, CP and loss is given to you. So write the values of CP and loss. That is CP rupees four six nine five and loss rupees four zero five. Then how to find the SP? So SP will be CP minus loss. So put the values, subtract them, and get the answer. And the answer will be rupees four two nine zero. So dear students, I am repeating it again. just remember the formulas okay go through the formulas if you are sure about the formulas there will be no problem while solving the questions next is question number 4 prerna bought a coat for rupees 9775 that is rupees 9775 and sold it for rupees 12950 find the gain that is profit or loss so prerna she bought a coat so the price at which we buy something that is known as cp means cost price and the price at which we sell something it is known as the selling price or the sp so first of all let us write the cp and sp of the coat so cp of a coat that is rupees 9775 sp of the coat that is rupees 12950 now we have to compare because we need to find profit or loss so at the time of finding profit or loss we need to compare sp and cp so let us compare here sp is greater than cp so when selling price is greater it means we um, earn a profit okay therefore profit is equals to sp minus cp because sp is greater than cp so put the values of sp and cp subtract them okay and you will get the answer that is rupees 3175 so this is the profit that prerna earned okay now next question question number 5 A shopkeeper had a loss of rupees six eighty five when he sold an article for rupees eighteen hundred. What was the cost price of that article? Now here, a shopkeeper had a loss. So loss is given, and the price at which he sold an article that price is given. So the price at which we sell something it is the SP. It means loss and SP is given to us. So when loss and SP is given, how to find CP? We have to add both of them. That is SP and loss. So let's do the solution. Here SP is rupees eighteen hundred, loss is rupees six eighty five. So in case of CP, we will just apply the formula that is SP plus loss. Then put the values here, add them, and get the answer. And your answer will be rupees two thousand four hundred and eighty. Five. Next is question number six. A fruit vendor bought 
फोर्टी टू के जी मैंगोज एट दी रेट ऑफ रुपीज थर्टी टू पर के जी ही सोल्ड थर्टी के जी मैंगोज एट दी रेट ऑफ रुपीज फोर्टी पर के जी एंड रेस्ट एट दी रेट ऑफ रुपीज थर्टी पर के जी फाइंड हिज गेन और लॉस एट द एंड ऑफ द डे सो देर इज अ फ्रूट वेंडर ही बॉट फोर्टी टू के जी मैंगोज ओके एंड वॉट वॉज द कॉस्ट ऑफ वन के जी मैंगोज रुपीज थर्टी टू सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ही नीड टू फाइंड द कॉस्ट ऑफ फोर्टी टू के जी बनानाज Fine. Or here to solve this question, we need to find. Okay. Then he sold thirty kg. Out of forty two kg, thirty two kg he sold at the rate of rupees forty per kg. So selling price of one kg mangoes is given, and we need to find the selling price of thirty kg bananas that he sold. After that, rest of the mangoes he sold at thirty per kg. So first of all, we need to find the rest of the mangoes. That is forty two minus thirty. So then, selling price of one kg mangoes is rupees thirty, and we need to find the remaining. That is twelve kg mangoes. That is selling price of twelve kg mangoes. Then at the time when we will get selling price and cost price, then we will just find the profit or loss so let's do this question step by step okay so first of all fruit bought by a vendor 42 kg cost price of 1 kg mangoes rupees 32 so cost price of 42 mangoes kg mangoes we need to find for that we will multiply and we will get the answer that is rupees 1344 and i know that till now you all are uh, very much clear about the multiplication that how to multiply so i don't need to just explain it again and again so you have to multiply 42 by 32 and find the answer so this will be the cost price the cp of 42 kg mangoes now we have got cp of 42 kg mangoes now one by one we will come to the selling price that is sp of 42 kg mangoes now he sold 30 kg mangoes so sp of 1 kg mangoes rupees 40 and we need to find sp of 30 kg mangoes that he sold so again we have to multiply 40 by 30 so after multiplication we will get rupees 1200 so this is the selling price of 30 kg mangoes now let us find out mangoes left after selling 30 kg mangoes so in total he bought 42 kg then he sold 30 kg so remaining mangoes are 12 kg and now we need to find the selling price of these 12 kg mangoes so we know that he sold the remaining mangoes the rest of the mangoes at 30 rupees per kg so selling price of 1 kg mangoes is rupees 30 and selling price of 12 kg that is remaining mangoes we will just find out by multiplying 30 by 12 so when you will multiply you will get the answer that is rupees 360 now this is the selling price of 30 kg mangoes and this is the selling price of remaining 12 kg mangoes so we can find the total selling price that is total sp therefore total selling price that is selling price of 30 kg mangoes and selling price of 12 kg mangoes so we will add both the amounts and we will get the answer that is rupees 1560 now we have total selling price of 42 kg mangoes and total cost price of 42 kg mangoes that we have calculated in the very first step now we will just compare selling price and cost price and then we will just find out whether he earned a profit or bared a loss because here selling price is greater than cost price so profit means gain you can call it profit or gain so profit will be selling price minus minus cost price so put the values subtract them and find the answer so your final answer will be rupees 216 so this is the profit that the fruit vendor earned by selling 42 kg mangoes so i hope you would have understood this exercise thank you